The Khosro Cup is one of the most precious objects that survives from the Sasanian Persian Empire, an empire which stretched from Syria to Afghanistan and spanned over five centuries from the 3rd to 7th centuries AD. It is made of a gold frame with inserts of garnet, green glass and rock crystal. In the large central medallion is the image of a Persian king of the Sasanian dynasty, most likely Khosro I, who ruled for over 40 years and who is one of the most famous rulers of the Sasanian Empire. By carving the image of the king in rock crystal, the artist imbues the ruler's figure with light, light which is the embodiment of the divine in Zoroastrianism, the religion of the Sasanians. Thanks to the latest in 3D imaging technologies, we are able to include the Khosro Cup in the upcoming exhibition at the Ashmolean Museum entitled Imagining the Divine, Art and the Rise of World Religions. These technologies give us the opportunity to broaden the exposure of the cup and therefore to introduce Sasanian art and culture to a wider public audience. The cup is one of the star pieces in the collection of the Bibliothèque Nationale de France in Paris. The first mention we have of it comes from the Grand Chronique de France uh, during the 13th and 14th century and uh, it has been saved from destruction during the revolution uh, when the commissaire in charge of uh, selecting uh, the objects uh, that, that would not be um, marked down um, and this commissaire gave it to the Cohen cabinet in the Bibliothèque Nationale uh, where it became part of the new national collections. How the cup arrived in Paris, however, remains something of a mystery. Legend has it that the cup was the gift of the Muslim Abbasid Caliph Harun al-Rashid to the Christian Carolingian Emperor Charlemagne and was later bequeathed to the Abbey of Saint-Denis by his successor Charles the Bald. Alternatively, it may have been the gift of a Sasanian emperor to his Roman counterpart, taken to Paris after the sack of Constantinople in 1204 by the victorious armies of the Fourth Crusade. By the time it is recorded in 13th century Paris, the cup was assigned a Christian identity, thought to represent and once belonged to the biblical king Solomon, leading to its other name as the Cup of Solomon. The Bibliothèque Nationale de France has a um, very ambitious programme of digitisation of its collections. Uh, it's part of its mission, in fact, to uh, give uh, the widest possible access uh, to its collections uh, to a large audience, and digitization uh, comes as a chance to do it. There is a particular attraction to the idea of uh, digitizing the Cosrus Cup because uh, it's an object we can't land easily. Uh, it's too precious, it's too uh, closely attached to the history uh, of France. Uh, and there are risks uh, in moving such an object that we would not take. So digitization is the only solution to allow people to see it outside Paris. And a 3D image, of course, is better than a 2D image. And uh, if you can print a copy from the 3D image, uh, you add a technological challenge uh, to the prospect. Taking up that technological challenge, we made the trip to Paris to scan the cup and produce a 3D digital image. That digital image can then be used to create a facsimile, an exact replica. Keep an eye out for the next installment of this series to find out how we went about creating a very 21st century copy of an ancient artefact.